Kilauea has just had a big 5.5 magnitude earthquake at a shallow depth. This is what's going on the latest here. Let's take a look at the swarm that has been taking place before this magnitude 5.5 right at the Kilauea volcano at the National Park area. So could this be another collapse? Was it just a pause that we saw since last year when it stopped? Well, last year we saw a similar activity. We had the earthquake before the eruption started at the East Rift Zone and uh, at the Pu'u'o crater collapse. And uh, prior to the rim collapse, the adjacent ground also subsided. Now, if we go to the, we're going to the USGS quakes concerning Kilauea. This is Volcanoes USGS. And this is what we had today at a shallow depth of 3.1 miles. And since then, before then, and, be, and after then, of course, we had, I don't know why they say this is a minus two. Uh, why is it a minus two? I don't understand that. Uh, is, it, is it in the air or is it the, the cone, the mountain? I don't know. It was not in the earth, it was just above, I guess. Um, all right, so this is 5.3, 5.5 at a 4.3 mile depth, which is shallow. And then we saw um, the following seismic activity after that. 2.3 is the latest. And um, this is the activity that we have here. We also have a lot of activity in Mauna Loa, some in Mauna Kea as well. Deformation data. This is USGS, of course. Tilt at Kilauea, some East Rift Zone the past week. Global Position System Kilauea at Pu'o Crater and the last five years. And what about this past week? Earthquake Hypocenters map and cross section. You can see the swarms going on there. Continuing. Earthquake rates and depths increasing. You see this, it's increasing. This is uh, today, March 13. What's been going on this past week? Mar 3rd, March 7 to March 13. And that's the location, a real-time global position system, Kilauea Summit Peak. And the current alerts. Activity, Kilauea volcano not erupting, rates, seismicity, deformation, gas emission have not changed significantly over the past week. Well, obviously, this is all wrong. Uh, it should be updated. This was uh, written the day before, I guess, before the earthquake, obviously. It was written at uh, 1.39. And the earthquake took place. Let's see, where are we? Okay. Let's go. Obviously, they did not include this. So, um, yes, we have an activity. There we go. The shallow earthquake. USGS has it at 5.5 at the Helena region of Kilauea Volcano. Today, the agency reported a depth of 5.9, 3.6 miles. Epicenter was located north of Apua, southeast of Kilauea, southwest of uh, Paradise Park. There are 180,000 people living within 100 kilometers of this. 3,000 people were estimated to have felt moderate shaking and 104,000 this week. Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said quake was not large enough to cause a tsunami. 
Uh, Hawaii Civil Defense is asking residents to report any damage, of course, as expected, but this is pretty big, so something must be going on. It just doesn't come out of the blue. And this is exactly what happened last year before the eruptions. So we'll keep an eye out on this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.